Okay, uh, ito yung sabi ni Deacon Jana, every time nandito, parang hindi ready. <laughs> parang hindi ready. And, uh, uh, ang word po sa atin ngayon, <clears throat> is, I would request everyone, <clears throat> request natin ang <clears throat> bawat isa, na ituturo natin ang sarili. Nakaturo na ba? Nakaturo sa... Baka nakaturo sa katabi mo. <laughs> Sabihin mo, I have a humble heart. I have a humble heart. Hindi yung ano ha, ituturo niyo yung kapila ha. Tayo lang. Okay? Oh. Okay. Hallelujah. <clears throat> um... Salamat sa Diyos at ihanda natin yung mga puso natin ngayon. Kasi yesterday, uh, while I was preparing the sermon, I burst into tears. Actually, hindi ito para sa inyo din. Para sa, sa na, na, namama, na namamahayag dito uh, sa preacher din. And Uh, wala pong sinisingle out ng bawat isa. This is the word of God. Amen. And sabi nga, kailangan lang natin ng humble, uh, humble na heart at tanggapin natin kung ano yung word ng Panginoon sa gabi nito. Ang ating topic ngayong gabi is from James 4 verse 6 which is actually part because there is that uh, phrase before that but this key verse is about God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble kung makikita nyo Nakared yung opposes the proud. Pero nakawait yung gives grace to the humble. At para magiging positibo yung title natin ngayong gabi nito, tanggalin natin, God gives grace to the humble. So ito yung pamagat ng ating sermon ngayon. Dahil mukhang mataas ito at isang Windows Word tayo dito na mas <laughs> We will focus more at siguro itong part 1 na ito about pride. And then perhaps the second kung nanahisi ng Panginoon na matapag-preach ko tayo dito ang humility naman is fine. Yeah. And so, reading na ba ang puso ng katabi? Yeah. <laughs> Katabi mo, hindi ka. Ready na ba? Ready na. Wow. Ready na. Ready na. Alright, so James 4.6, God thinks that before that, what? God opposes the proud. Sino proud ito? Meron sa labas, may proud ako na ganito talaga. Ang proud na proud ko talaga. We usually... And most often than not, use the terminology proud. And to know more about sa pride na ito, you can see behind yung image of humility. What is pride? Only fried chicken to sit and build. And then my brand yan ang According to Merriam-Webster Dictionary, 
It is a reasonable self-esteem, confidence, and satisfaction in oneself. Take note, oneself. According to Oxford Dictionary, it defines as the quality of having an excessively high opinion, again, of oneself. Or one's own importance. So, so first, barang, okay lang naman, cool lang, cool, chill lang. But in Oxford Dictionary, mas mapabigat-bigat na kasi nandiyan ang excessively high opinion of oneself or one's own importance. To go further, sabi ng Britannica Dictionary, defines it further as a feeling that you are more important or better than other people yan. Claro, claro na to. Again, hindi yung katabi mo. So ngayon, pinapakita sa atin, in this worldly definitions, that it refers to oneself. Ako, hindi katabi mo. Ako. Sabihin mo, ako. Oh. Kasi dyan tayo yung start sa pride. Kasi maraming puro pa natin, doon pa lagi ko. Ha? 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 Wala talagang ganun. And so, let us start using ako. In this topic, kasi kung sa, sa lahat ng mga bagay, sabihin mo ako, magagalit ang Panginoon niya. <laughs> And so, ito yung mga definitions ngayon. And this is always centered on oneself. Itong pride na to is sometimes used in the Old Testament in a positive sense. Like for example, in the in, in Psalm 47.4 at the Ezekiel, it talks about the pride of the land of Israel. So, wala na sa mga Lord. It has been mentioned on a, po on a positive sense. However, must be predominate or that is being mentioned many times, yung negative sense ng word na pride. And therefore, it connotes about negative or something that God opposes and we call this for purposes of Retaining it in our mind as sinful pride. Kasi hindi naman lahat na pride masama. So it predominates occurring in 61 text uh, in IV. Pride is found mainly in the book of prophets and book of uh, poetry. Uh, Ecclesiastes, uh, Song of Solomon, uh, Proverbs. Pinamension niyan kadalasan. Especially Proverbs. So many times. Pride, 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 pride. So let's talk about the sin, sinful, sin, uh, sinful pride. Itong sinful pride nito, I know this topic really ang dami po na discussions ito that we cannot, you know, have all the month or days to tackle all those. So we just have to pinpoint all those which are ready to transform natin. Now there are classifications, different classifications of sinful, sinful pride. And one thing that we can have is, number one, self-exaltation. Self-exaltation. Yung sarili natin, karalasin. According to James 1, verses 16 and 17, may pito ko ba ito? James chapter 1, 16 to 17, Do not be deceived, my beloved brothers. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. Coming down from the Father of lights with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. Walang changes. Pagaling sa Panginoon, hindi pwede yung ano to, puti, pula. It's clear, vivid. It doesn't change na, uy, bakit pulit na yung tama? Perfect eh. Galing sa Panginoon. I mean, and to connect this with the daily lives of mga tao, 
We have a very recent example na makikita mo, although we do not know yung tao yun kung may self-exaltation, but to display about self-exaltation, sabihin na natin, okay, for example lang, example lang man, si yung gymnast natin who won two times. Yolo. Yolo. Kairos Yolo. So, hindi natin alam, hindi, hindi, hindi tayo pwede mag-judge no, sa kanilang puso. Pero kanalatan sa mga tao, pag mayroong achievement sa buhay nila, ano ang mangyari? Nagsisang zone. Ang galing ko. Even in fact, tayo, sinasabi natin. Ang galing-galing yan. Ha? Kasi mula nung bata pa, nagtambing-tambling na yan. <laughs> tambling dito, tambling doon. So parang kinikredit natin, even from our side, from us, na yung tao yun ay dahil sa kanyang practice, dahil sa kanyang sipag, dahil sa kanyang determination. Most often than not, we even hear discussions sa outside na grabe. Dapat yun mo din yung anak natin kasi grabe dami bahay, ang pera, din paklit ba? Tapos, tapos yan ako sa inyo nga, may mga advertisements na kaya ang daming mga ano tawag yun? Memes? Memes. 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 Memes sa Facebook na kahit mga may edad na nagbalit nung balit ko. Nagbalit Tapos yung mga kanila nung sige sige nagiging nagiging icon. Nagtrending. As a people we're so interested na ganun. So parang naka Focus na yung dalawang mata, isip din nga at mga, mga ano, sa, sa, sa accomplishment niya. Para na ka, para na ka, na, <laughs> so nakita ng mga tao, yung accomplishment niya, and because of that, they're so carried up, uh, carried over, <laughs> na talagang sabi natin, dapat ang anak ko, ganito rin. Kasi maaahon tayo sa hirap. So, hindi na tagalog rin. So, nagkakaroon ang determination ng bawat isa. And so, makikita din natin na pag nalasa ng mga tao, lalo nang wala pa sa Pinoon, nagsisentigsult yan. Sabi niyo, trapin mo, ang galing mo. Nanalo ka, no? Eh kasi, nung maliit pa ito, tinitrain na ito eh. Kasi, ano po, huwag ka nang inom, huwag kang mag-ano, tapos disiplin ka rin sa sabili. O tapos, kung meron kayong lupid sa inyo, mag-practice ka na doon. <laughs> so doon nakapokus yung mga tao. So yung tinatawag na self-exaltation. At ito naman, mostly, ito nangyari. Most of mga bickerings, mga hindi pagkakaintindi ng mga mag-asawa, hindi pagkakaintindi ng mga magkakapatid, hindi pagkakaroon ng harmonious relationship yung kapitbahay, at kahit sa, sa loob ng simbahan, dahil yan sa tinatawag ng sinful pride at self-exaltation. In fact, meron tayong naririnig kita sa mga telebisyon. Grabe ang iba kasi sa sobrang takas ng pride, nagkataroon na ng ubusan ng lahat. And it's so sad. Because it's the work of using this example and this particular type of pride name. Kaya tingnan natin ang buhay natin ngayon. Maybe somewhere, somehow. Meron part sa mga relasyon natin na merong tinatawag na pride. Hindi? Masama ko sumugaling mo? Sabi naman niya, pinakinggan kita yun yung version mo. Pag doon naman ako sa katungdali mo, sabi naman, masama ang ugaling rin mo. Sino? Sino? Masama? Kasi puro na mataas yung consideration niya sa sarili. So 
So sino ba yung may pride? So ito yung nagiging rason. Kahit ngayon, at meron akong uh, alam mo sa amin, tumatanda na talaga sila. Hanggang sa libina, hindi na tapayos. Sabi sa Bisaya, magkita na lang tayo sa kong kruso. <laughs> magkita lang daw doon sa malaking kruso kasi simbolik malaking kruso sa minteryo. Lalo na yung wala mga libingan, doon mag-ano. Oh. So, nagiging ano lang, doon magkita. Ibig sabihin, wala talaga ang reconciliation. Pati kaya dito. Hindi ko naman alam ang mga buhay natin. Hindi may kunting hindi magkagawin. Bakihan, hindi ko magkagawin. At parang hindi na kalim wala na natin. Hindi, hindi ako. Nung pilis ako ng forgiveness ako. Wala naman, hindi naman kami nagkakaaway-away. Let us play by the way. Amen. Amen. Check natin sa principal mo. We check natin because we are now in the process of sanctification. Amen. Nagkatapon ng holiness ng buhay natin. We should consider this. That is self-exaltation. Ang dami pong mangyari is self-exaltation. Matthew 23, 12, sabi dito, Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and whoever humbles himself will be exalted. Word yan ang Panginoon. Wala kayo. Mananatili kayo doon. Ako hindi na. And there will be measurement parumi tayo dito on at the end of this. And I will show you paano dimisyon yung sarili mo. Sabi sa pinasabi mo. Pangalawang klase, self-promotion. Matthew 6, verses 1 and 2. Beware of practicing your righteousness before other people in order to be seen by them. For then, you will have no reward from your Father who is in heaven. Thus, when you give to the needy, sound no trumpet before you. As the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may be praised by others. Surely I say to you, they have received their reward. I want to show you one picture, which is very common, and that is happening all over the society. The picture itself shows about self-promotion. Which is a form of simple pride. Sabi nito, let it be between you and God. The world doesn't need to know. It can be. Puso kang tutulong. At pakikita mo dito, na hindi man sinasaw ng trumpet, pero nakikita. But it is just a a dramatic expression about letting the public know sound no trumpet before you. So from here onwards, titignan din natin ang ating maybe may tinuturo ang ating isa. Kasi God opposes pride. Samples na pride na ayaw sound ng trumpet before you. Kasi dati sa provinsya. Uh, salamat sa uh, fiesta. Salamat uh, from the uh, uh, family Brandy. Uh, uh, 5,000 pesos. First prize. Marami pa. This is very common. Mm-hmm. But yet, when we were still mga unbelievers, okay lang, sikat. Sikat kayo talay. Sikat ni, sikat. Nagiging ganon. Pero ngayon, modern, ito na. Ito 
estaba en YouTube, Instagram, o Facebook. Lahat. Dahil sa pagsada, ang daming mga vloggers. Di ba? Hindi ko sinasabi nga, may nag-vlog dito kung ano. I mean, generally, ito ang nangyari sa buhay ng ating sandibutan. And that is self-promotion. Ano yung ibig sabihin? Kanina, self-exaltation. It could either be part din ng self-exaltation, but this type of pride is like this. Ikaw yung mag-act dyan, tapos kami yung mag-appreciate sa inyo. Oh, grabe si Bro Brandy. Oh, nagbibigay talaga ng mga sakong bigas sa palawan. Tampo lang naman yan. So, ibig sabihin, na-receive niya yung mga praises at mga sinasabing mga kung ano yung mga uh, sinasabing magagandang ano sa ginawa niya and dito na-address na yung glory is papunta sa kanya. Hindi na sa Panginoon. So, ano kung yan? Ano dapat din gawin? Kasi papunta sa kanya yung glory eh. At grabe yan. Grabe siguro ano Talagang ano ito, example na ito. Mahirap naman ako. <laughs> so ngayon, napapunta sa kanya ang glory. Napapunta sa kanya ang glory. So what happens to our God? What happens to our beloved God? Nakaiwan? Nalimutan? Most of them, tayo tayo, minsan no? Hindi natin ma, ano na, sabi ko, Ito dapat tayo kung sinasabi lang tayo. Glory to God. O, yung dito. Kasi manatili lang sa puso. Hindi ka. Nagiging, nagiging, ay, salamat. Salamat lang. Glory, salamat. Salamat sa iyo. Amen. So, ganito self-promotion. Ano pa? Self-justification. In fact, Itong verse na to was uh, repeated in my previous uh, yung previous sermon. Two men went into the temple to pray. One Pharisee, yung tax collector, di ba? And doon sabi, standing by himself, pray to us, God, I thank you, and I'm not like the other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week, I give time to... So, ina-account niya yung ginagawa niya doon sa Panginoon. Lord, may nalimutan pa ba ito? Parang ipinalista niya. Ipinalimayan niya ang Panginoon na Panginoon na ginawa ko yun. Panginoon, nagtatayos ko kahapon. Panginoon, nagbiminister ako kahapon. Panginoon, ginagawa ko yung Panginoon. Pero yung kapon na ang kinabaka, hindi ko alam. Parang wala. Parang gano'n ang pagkatasabi. And this is indeed a self-justification. Parang ginajustify mo ang sarili before God. And the worst is, Kino-compare mo pa yung sarili mo kung anong ginagawa mo which is mas better pa kaysa nakita mo. Ba't pwede pa? Kailangan pa namin yun. Ba't hindi lang yung sarili natin ang tulis pa nila? Sa'yo kalipat kinang nalil. Kailangan mong i-account yan. Nakalista naman yan sa kino. Wala naman yun. Kung hindi siya, hindi siya. God siya eh. All knowing God siya. So yun yung karoon ng self-justification. Parang kinukunan na natin ang Panginoon ng kapangyarihan na makikita ang puso ng bawat isa. Parang sinasabi mo, Lord, baka malimutan mo ako, eh, hindi yan nagsisipa. Lord, hindi yan nagbigyan ng tithes. Lord, hindi yan gumagawa sa mga ministry. Lord, hindi na yan nagsisipa. Lord, hindi. Parang nag-account tayo. Nag-account tayo sa sarili at in-account pa natin yung iba. Para tayong gatekeeper. Para yun sa klase yung nagkaroon ng attendance. Self-justification is a form of a simple way. Ano pa? Self-degradation, self-discrimination, self-condemnation. Ito ano naman ito? Minsan, kahit dati ako, naka-feel din ako. 
Sampai ke batin itu aku negara, puluh mga perahi, puluh mga tao dito. Kasi pinanganak ka sa kuno ka nung sobrang tayo, kaya ito sila nung hindihin ka talaga. Parang nag-self-critic. Parang inalisanan natin ang Panginoon. Sa ibinibigay na taglay niya, na natin na ibinibigay niya. At sabi dito sa Titus 3, 3.6 For we ourselves were once foolish, disobedient, led astray, slaves to various passions and pleasures, passing our days in malice and envy, hated by others and hating one another. But when goodness and loving kindness of God, our Savior appeared, He saved us. Not because of the works done by us in righteousness, but according to His own mercy, by the washing or regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit, whom He poured out on us richly through Jesus Christ our Lord and our Savior. Kasi pag naka, pag, 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 pag na-join ka ng isang lugar, at tapos sabi mo, parang out of place mo rin. Parang sa tingin mo, ikaw lang yung hindi bless. Minsan, nag-iisip pa tayo ng ganyan? Dati? Parang, ang ulit mo. Ang word dati, isulti-sulti naman dito. Ngayon, Christian, ang bliss naman dito. Saan meron na ganyan? I mean, wala siguro dito. But this is a reminder for us. At siguro maririnig din natin sa mga tao, ibang mga Christians. Na minsan, parang ang ang liit-liit sa tingin niya sa sarili niya. Dapat din ito ganoon. Kasi meron tayong paninoon. Kung anong pagkulang meron ka, kung anong short or weakness meron ka, sure tayo na ang paninoon may ibinibigay din na wala sa iba. Na nandiyan sa inyo. At kung pagkulang, pagkulang natin ang paninoon, parang nagkakaroon na tayo ng pride yan. Amen. Kasi hindi na tayo naniwala sa ginawa niya eh. But when the goodness and loving kindness of God our Savior appeared, dapat ito yung palaging isa sa isip natin. Kapag sila, balilitorian si Sis Jana, ako na kahit yung balilitorian, meron mga birth na birth. Parang ganun. Kasi may mga taglay tayo bawat isa ng bilingin. Kaya nagtatanong ako dati, doon ba sila ito ang kasasya ko? Hmm. May accomplishment naman dito, may accomplishment dito. Kaya dahil sa pride ko, hindi na ko nag-take. <laughs> Tapos, nagsisisip, kasi ikaw pinuna mo kasi si Susip. <laughs> you were absent for one and a half years. Para naanap mo na ng reason. Pride naman yan. Iyon yung reason ko lahat. Kasi yun naman kasi. Pero yun naman naman, may anak na kung 27 yun, 26 yun. Kasi siguro kung nabugado ko, ang dami lang yun doon sa bilimid reason na yun. So may purpose ang inong bawat isa. Kasi hindi natin nakita yun dati. Pero ngayon nakita na natin ito. Kasi may mga failures, may mga bagay na hindi binigay sa atin ng Panginoon. Dahil may greater purpose siya sa buhay natin. Kaya lang tingnan natin. Baka mayroong pride na nandito sa loob ng puso natin ang detail na ba't ako hindi na pagsa? Ba't ako hindi na gano'n? Ba't ako, ba't, ba't ang gitang sahod ko ngayon? Ba't ang laki ng sahod ko? Basta, basta deserving ako. O bakit siya lang in-increase? Ba't ako wala? Ba't ang trabaho na dito sa aking balagi? Panakin, ba't ako, ba't ako, ba't ako, ano ba't ako? And that is self-degradation, that is self-discrimination, and that is self-condemnation. And be reminded that is part of sinful. So ngayon, bigyan mo po ako siya ng more tabaho siya kasi naintindihan ko na ito. <laughs> So, ito yung very mind sa atin. So, we should not be a complainer. Kasi nahayaan ng Panginoon yan. Baka something may 
Gusto mo ng Panginoon na bino-workout sa buhay mo. Kasi yung puso natin, may pride pa. Kaya huwag ka nang magtatanong, bakit, bakit? Tingnan mo na, ah! Kaya pala. Maalala ko tuloy. Dati yung sinabi ng kasama kong pastor doon sa Grabe ang prayer ko. Matagal ito ng prayer ko. Bakit anong prayer mo? Kasi, grabe itong tao ko. Palagi akong binitansikyot. Mas masama ka rin ang ugali niya kasi palagi ako, oh, tapos magpagpatakas ka rin na. Bakit anong prayer mo? Sabi niya, Lord, Lord, please, change his heart. That he will be able to understand me. So prayer, sir, and prayer, and prayer, and prayer. But then nothing happened. Bakit sabi niya, dapat in season, ceaseless prayer. Hindi tayo kama ito. Ano? Sabi ito, tatantanan. Prayer, and prayer. Lord, inaway naman ako. Please change his heart. That he will be able to understand me. After some time, wala pa rin ito. But then God taught him to change his prayer. Yes, no. Wala. Ang tagal na. Parang sampung buhuna ng buwan. Wala pa rin nangyari. And then, God has given him a wisdom na sabi kailangan na i-fine-tune yung prayer mo. So ano yung prayer na ginawa mo? Ah, kaya pala. Bakit? Lord, please, change my heart. Understand him. <laughs> Pagkala natin ang Panginoon. Minsan, may mga pride na nakatakot. Because we ourselves doesn't want, uh, don't want to, to admit na tayo, kailangan din pala ma-change yung heart natin kasi prideful din tayo. Walang kailang nakikita natin siya yung mali, siya yung mapagpataas, siya yung ganito, siya yung ganito. Ikaw, ito nyo. Ba't na meron? I-check natin. One, two, three, okay naman. Check naman to. Okay naman to. Align na to. Godly naman to. Pero pag saan po, mayroon ka kung nalimutan. Kaya siya hindi naman din sa pinag lahat. Walang iiwan. Hallelujah. Surrender lahat. Baka meron pa siya katapos sa galing. Pa kaya pala? Can you recall a lot of, you know, some issues? Ay, dito, limutan ko ito. So ngayon, starting tonight, your prayer will be, Lord, please change my heart to understand them. Kasi mas marami pa eh. <laughs> Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Ano yung sinful pride? But there are so many pa. Maybe third session, fourth session. But this is very important. Now, ito yung tinatawag natin sinful pride. Sino ba talagang motor nito? Bakit ba tayo may pride, pride pa sa dati? At bakit itong temptation ng pride ito? Palagi na lang. Kahit natin mga Christian, mm-hmm. palagi pa rin tayo. Why? Because the first of the created being who had pride, yung kalaban natin. Ezekiel 28, 12 to 17. Anong sabi? Sana ba, sing the funeral song for the king of Tyre. Give him the message from the sovereign Lord. You were the model of perfection, full of wisdom, and equity and beauty. This was Lucifer, who is now in a model of perfection, full of wisdom, exquisite and beauty. Alam mo? Ang dami kaya nakikita din natin sa panahon na yun. Na pag super beautiful 
super successful at napaka intelligente mo nandyan mo yung pride. Parang ang taas-taas mo ng tingin sa sarili mo na nandyan na yung lahat sa inyo at uh, nakatingin ka na sa pari. Ba, hindi ko nga hindi branded. O hindi branded. Ito na tatsinilas lang. Kung sa inyo is mga gutsi, merong Jordano, ang iba naman merong Jorbano. <laughs> Sabi nito, model of perfection, the whole of this time, explicit in beauty, grabe yung patagawa ng mga iba sa kanya. Talagang may release of the dream, talagang may binibigyan ng siya yung chief of angels doon. And then sabi dito, you were in Eden. Kasi siya yung nag-tenant mo. The garden of God, your clothing was adorned with every precious stone. So ask him, there God. 14, I ordained and anointed you as the mighty angelic guardian. You had access to the holy mountain of God. Ati, kisha tuni. And walk among the stones of fire. If you were, sabi yo, you were blameless in all. You did from the day you were created until the day the evil was found in you. Your rich commerce led you to violence and you sin. Because ang jalakan sa kanyang pleasure and splendor and then came about dahil sa mga privilege sa opportunity sa beauty sa wisdom at lahat nagre-reveal din na siya ating Panginoon. And he was trying even to persuade one third talagang nadala. That means, marami yung pinapersuade, but one third lang yung nadala. Ang sabi dito, you reach from his death, violence, because there was the war in the heavens, and you sin, kasi nagre-reveal na yung video na. So I banished you in disgrace from the mountain of God. I expelled you, oh my God, John. From your place among the stones of fire. Now, in the Nantula, it was a city, it was a city which is the northern part of Israel, but spiritually, I'm going to describe it with the most graphic illustration is Zika. Sabi dito, your heart was filled with pride because of all your beauty. Kaya yung super ganda dyan, tingnan-tingnan natin kasi baka sometimes madadala tayo sa ating sa ating kung meron o meron tayo. Kaya eh, okay lang naman ako hindi masyadong wapa. Kasi para may iwasan yung pride na yan. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> naman ha, hindi ko ito sabihin na pala yung magiging maganda. I'm just saying na kailangan tingnan natin kung baka yun na yung way na gagamitin ng away. Sabi dito, your heart was filled with pride because of your beauty. Wisdom was corrupted by your love of splendor. So I throw you to the ground and expose you to the furious gaze of kings and that will happen because talagang matikita and his time is short na. Sabi pa dito, Sa Isaiah, Isaiah 14, 12, 14. Siya pa rin yung uh, dinidescribe dito. How you are pulling from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning. How you are cut down to the ground. You who wake in the nations, for you have said in your heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne about the stars of God. Grabe yan ang mission. Grabe yan ang mission. I will exalt you my throne about the stars of God. Stars meaning angels. I will also sit on the mount of the congregation on the farthest side of the north. And I will ascend above the heights of the clouds and I will be like the most high. Especially, you know, around us. Makikita mo yung competition. Dapat po yung dapat po yung ako yung mga Dapat ako yung pagkukuha nito. Ako yung ma-award na nito. Dapat natatalo natin. And even the sports. Sa sports, 
Pues ven otro y dicen, ¿quién es? Sí, ¿por qué no? ¿Por qué no? I remember one time, I went in Pacquiao at the ano, no sé, word pa tayo. Sige, kara, kara. Punta mi pa. Punta mi pa. Y kung hindi kaya ang ina ng ng opponent ni Pacquiao, di ba masakit? Grabe talaga ng world. Just imagine. So makikita mo dito na yung origin pala ng pride na ito is mismo ng Diyos. So titignan natin every time para mag-attempt ng kaaway na meron mga tayong ginagawa which is in the boundary because I tell you when pride ends humility begins and when humility begins Pride ends. Kaya tingin natin parang pride na ito ah. Start po. Huwag natin nilagyan ng window ng puto. Amen. 1 John 2.16 sabi, For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. Now remember, kung saan ang galing, ang pride na yan. And you know what happened? Tingnan mo itong kaaway. Nung nilikha ka ng Panginoon, ang ating mga ang ating mga grandparents sa grand-grand-grand-grand na sila sa si Adan at si Eve. Ano ang ginawa niya? After niya na inano yung mga angels, yung creation naman ng Panginoon. Ano ang ginawa niya? Ginawa niya, tinitempt niya, kasama niya yung Pride of life. Along with the last of the flesh, last of the eyes. Okay. Yung tatlo na yun. Tatlo yung focus on the last of the day. Talk about the pride of life. Kasi ito yung topic natin. The pride of life can be defined as anything that is of the world. Meaning anything that leads to arrogance. Ostentation that's displayed of wealth. Pride in self. Presumption and boasting. From uh, God Questions Organization na website. So, ito yung definition ng pride. So, anong ginawa nito? Sabi sa Genesis, Then the serpent said to the woman, si Eve, You will not surely die, for God knows that in the day you end of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, showing good and evil. No, knowing good and evil. So, dito, tinitrap na ng serpent, yung nilikha ng Panginoon. So, anong nangyari? You will be like God, knowing good and evil. So, dito makikita mo na si Edith was tempted by the so-called temptation sa pride of life. Bakit? Para may tulad ka sa Panginoon. Nung alaman mo kung ano yung mali at hindi. At masama. So sabi dito sa Genesis 3, 9, 13, that the Lord of God called for Edom and said to him, Where are you? So they said, So he said, I heard your voice in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. And he said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you that you should not eat? Then the man said, The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me of the tree and I ate. So, tinuturo niya si si Iba. Anong sabo, sabo ni Iba? And the Lord God said to the woman, What is this you have done? The woman said, The serpent, saan na yung serpent? The serpent, this did me and I ate. Ito yung illustration. Nagtuturoan na. Nagtuturoan na. Minsan tayo, ganun din. Nagtuturoan. If there is any mistake or any problem, kaya sabi ko sa inyo kanina, ito yung sarili mo. No? Bakit? Because most of the time, dahil sa so pride natin, okay, so, mahirap i-admit. Mahirap magiging humble. Kasi dati, ako man ang humble. Pag sabihin ako, ang hirap talaga din kasi. 
Pag i-admit mo na ikaw is at fault, ang hirap talagang di kasi. And this is because even time in memorial, our forefathers did this. And even after this, wala kayong mababasa sa Bible in Genesis na sabi ni Adan, Sorry Lord! Sabi ni Iba, Sorry po Lord! Was there in a repentance? May nabasa ba kayo? Why? Because of Kaya nung isang tayo. Kung may participation tayo sa mali, sorry. Bakit? Ito yung participation. Hindi yung nagtutupan. Eh kasi, matagal na lumating. Eh kasi, hindi ako in-inform. Eh kasi, hindi ako binigyan ng pamasahe. Daming reasons at reasons but it boils down to the so-called Pride. Let's avoid. Let us try to reflect dito na si Satan that time even sila doon na inumpisan yung pride and pride life na to. This is always being used by the enemy even to us. Kaya kanina may covering tayo. Lord. Kasi this is exposing his darkness eh. Dati, in-expose ang darkness. Inatak yung nako. At this time, God, under time of covering with the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Again, sa atin, it was in January. The blame game in the field of pride. Genesis 11, verse 6, And they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower. We have the top in the heavens, and let us make a name for ourselves. Lest we be dispersed over the face of the whole earth. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of man had built. And the Lord said, Behold, they are one people, and they have all one language, and this is the only beginning of what they will do. And nothing that they propose to do will now be possible for them. Hitting them with all, this is the so called power of Babel. Now, if we have to go earlier sa Genesis 10, dito magigita mo yung genealogy. Now, from the time of Noah, there are two anak, Shem, Japheth, at Sakasiham. From the ascendant of Ham, doon, ipinanganak from Kash. Nimrod. And Nimrod was the mighty warrior and mighty hunter of the Lord. But, later on, siya yung nag-establish ng kingdom ng Nenebe. If you remember Nenebe, si Jonah, siya yung nag-establish to. Was being the king. And then also, even itong, itong, itong Babylon, which is part of the Mesopotamia and the modern, the, the modern term for that is Iraq. So yung, yung, yung tower na yan, ano nangyari? Because it happened after the flood. And if you remember, during the flood, buong mundo. Although hindi minimension ito specifically, but you can relate that na dahil sa flood, these people were also trying to build a tower. Now they will reach up to the heavens. At ayaw ng Panginoon na. Bakit? Parang pinakawang mo yung ginagawa ko ah. Minsan, ganun din ang ginagawa natin. Look at the scientist. No? Kung anong iniimbento. Hindi matagal. Mawawalan tayo ng mga trabaho kasi meron ang mga AI. Tingnan ang ginagawa niya. Ito yung ginagawa ng kaway. And even these people, see, the purpose of that is to spread sa mga tao sa world. And then, gusto nga mag-convert sa isang lugar. And then titignan nila doon. Meron silang gusto para mo reach out to heaven. And yung binasa natin kanina. Anong ginawa ni Satan? Gusto siya mag-ascend doon sa clouds. And this is very symbolic of trying to reach God. Trying to reach God. We're trying to, like, 
Inililimit mo yung kakayanan ng Panginoon because you are trying to discover and discover and after discover. So ano sabi nito? Anong purpose? Let us make a name for ourselves. Yun ang mga kapatid. When I was studying this yesterday, umiiyak ko. Bakit? Dahil ako din. But before that, let us move forward na ito'y nagiging kadalasan ng nangyari sa sanyo. This is the Tower of Babel. I got this symbol of pride and arrogance. And look at what's happening all over the world now. List of the world's leading brands named after founders and co-founders and partners of the company sources. Yeah. Anong dito? Abot Laboratories, San Kinuhang, Pangalan. Wallace Calvin Abot, 1888, American Multinational Medical Devices and Health Company. I'm not promoting who, I'm just putting an example. Number two, Adidas. Anong pangalan yan? Galing sa mayari. Adi Dassler. Adidas. Adolf Dassler, German Sportswear Company. What else? OD. OD is August Hertz. OD is a Latin word for Hertz, which is, which means listen. So again, the name OD is taken from the name of the owner or the founder. Again, what else? Baskin Subin, yung paborito niyong ice cream. This is taken from Bort Baskin, which is an American uh, owner at Herb Robbins, na isang Canadian. And they were uh, brothers, uh, brothers-in-law. At dahil kung tayo nila itong business ito since 1948, anong ginamit? Baskin Subins, ginamit nila ang pangalan because they want to make a name for themselves. And that is with the value. That is critical. What else? Ang dami po nito. If you have to search, ang dami. Burberry! Thomas Burberry, yung mga suot, mga iconic fashion at mga banghaling brands. British Luxury Fashion House. Established. So, Burberry is taken from the family name Thomas Burberry. What else? DHL! DHL is from Adrian Dobsley, Larry Hillblom, and Robert Lean. DHL. From their names. German Logistics Company. Ano pa? IKEA! Ingrab, Gumprad, and the last two letters, yung location. Young, tired, and bonyard, and body spirit, sa Sweden, and now the donors of Netherlands. Now, these are just few of those people who would like to make a name. And they have built that name already. In fact, nandiyan, nakatapat na sa pag-isipan ng bawat ako sa mga. Sana kung isa sa power have you made that connection before? Diba, ito lang ang tao. At alam mo bakit napaluha ko. Bakit ako umiyak na hapon. While I was studying and preparing this for all, God has reminded me. In 2018, in 2018, we did this. We invested in a dragon boat plantation. Look at the name behind us. Look at the name behind us. I burst into tears. Why? Because God has told me. God opposes the pride. Look what we did. Maybe. Hindi yung purpose na iopus kami ng Panginoon. But I wanted to make a name for ourselves which God doesn't want. Alam niyo nangyari sa farm na ito ay pinag-prosper. And now I understand because God called me for this for the service para sa kanya. Ayaw niya na mag-businessman ako. Ayaw niya na magiging ganito ako. This is our farm in this was our farm before 2018, 2019, 2020. Sa likod niyan, meron fish pond dito na ilagay namin. And we invested that sa mga trao sa trabaho namin dito. Ilagay namin pangalan. We were 
thinking about putting up like the byproducts or mga sabon out of this product. Gagawa kami ng mga siguro dry fruits, gagawa ng mga juice, ice cream, etc. But we did not know what's the purpose of Panginoon that time. Wala kami Panginoon that time. I just came sa, sa Panginoon two years ago. Kaya sabi ko, Lord, kung anong, kung anong purpose sa buhay mo sa, sa buhay namin, let it let your will be done. Amen. Kasi nakikita ko, I was crying yesterday. Lord, sorry. Sorry na. Tayo yung pala sa ginawa namin. Before, uh, hindi, ganun eh. Hindi ko alam yung ganito, but God was speaking to me directly through this sermon preparation. Ay, ikaw mismo, tingnan mo yung ginawa mo. Few years back, you were trying to build a name to yourself. Saan ako? Saan ako na patunawan mo? It's not only this, may isa pa kami yung business na pinamangalan sa anak namin. This is yung alubis kami. Hindi na lang namin ginawa dito. It's this is ice cream. Lahat ng business na yun, hindi na patuloy. For one reason or another. This one is invested. At alam naman natin, nagpapadala ng mga investitions, mga calamity. Mas ayaw ng Panginoon, hindi siya judge talaga. Judgment. Nauubos yan na invest yan in the halawan ng Panginoon. I was praying yesterday. Sorry, sorry sa nalapak namin. Na pinataas namin yung pangalan namin. Wala na ito. Pwede naman yun. Gawin natin. Gawin natin yung grasya or something or gawin natin na that will, that will lift sa pangalan ng Panginoon. Pero ang ginawa, pangalan namin. Wala nang pagkakaiba namin na uh, we're very important. So I cried yesterday. And I hope, sisters, brothers, whatever your plans, come here onwards. Sure, hindi tayo ang mag-glorify. Proverbs 16.18 The pride goes before Then yun ang yari. And about the spirit before that. And even in fact, before that, yung mga business, pamilya ng mundo. Kasi pangalan niya ng kapatid. Construction, taxi, howling business namin, construction, taxi, surplus business namin, all over the size of it. Bakit? Kasi pinataas namin ang sarili namin sa sarili. Kaya mo lang ay ayakin ko yung brothers and sisters. Kung meron tayong mga moves, meron tayong gagawin, meron tayong mga plan, make it sure na tayo yung mag-glorify, hindi tayo yung mag-glorify. Papataas dahil yan ay gawa. Colossians 3.12 Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on the tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness or gentleness, don't suffering means patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. Kaya ngayon, kung meron bang nakapasakit sa inyo dito, Amen. before you leave this place later on, ask for forgiveness. Be humble. Be humble. Kasi yun yung nilawa ng kaaway. Huwag natin nahayaan ang kaaway na magkakaroon tayo ng division dito. Huwag natin nahayaan ang kaaway na siya'y mananaig. Let us let Christ na magiging vector sa ating pahalit. Let us try to do people so you must also do. But above all, these things put on love which is the bond of perfection. Let us another. Kahit ayaw niyo ng mukha ko, love me. <laughs> <laughs> sa sa panalin ng tulad ng mga ito. Ito sa sa Hindi man ako, ganun talaga ta, accommodation or si pastor, eh, ganun talaga, pero but our heart, you know, alam natin, eh, sinusuko din namin sa akin mo. Okay. So, salamat. Pakapalapak ka natin, Panginoon. Kung ito sa akin,
Philippians 2.3, let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem others better than himself. So, kailangan natin, unahin natin ang ating mga brothers and sisters, hindi yung sarili natin. Let each of you look out not only for your own interest, but also for the interest of others. Ano pa? Philippians 2, 3, 8. Let this mind be in you, which also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, did not consider it a robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no repetition, taking the form of a bond servant. Because God came not to preserve, but to serve. And sabi, and coming in the likeness of man, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself. Ayun ba kaya? And became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. Kaya ikanan pero hindi si Pastor din, si Sis Janet, iba pa dito mga kasama natin, iyan ang kasama. Because ito na feel natin, isinasambuhay natin yung buhay ni Cristo. Na yung nangyayari mga 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 buhay na nangyayari sa buhay natin, mayroong purpose ang Panginoon. Into ka dyan dahil you are not you are not of this world. Di ba? Pag inihinto tayo ng Panginoon, inistop tayo ng Panginoon doon, ayaw ng Panginoon na you will be with the world. Kasi hindi tayo, hindi tayo eh. And you should be happy. And you should give praises to God. Ratpaka natin ng Panginoon. The pride of life is the very sin that resulted in Satan's expulsion. Remember that. From heaven. He desired to be God, not to be a servant of God. Gusto niya maging palino, hindi magiging servant. Number two, it is the root cause of strife in families, churches, and nations. It exalts the self in the direct contradiction of Jesus' statement that those who would follow him ano, must take up the cross and deny themselves. Ano pa? The pride of life stands in our way if we truly seek to be servants of God. It is the arrogance that separates us from others and limits our effectiveness in the kingdom. Ano pa? The pride of life comes not from the Father, but from the world. And as such, it is passing away with the world. But those who resist and overcome the temptation of the pride of life do the will of God. Kaya sabi natin, huwag din yung hayaan sa buhay natin. Bakit? Dahil the man who does the will of God lives forever. That's it. Humanity is the ability to be without pride or arrogance. And it is principal character that could be seen in those who follow Jesus Christ. Jesus is the best example of someone who humbly followed God's plan for his life. Amen. And the assessments for all of us. Amen. Ask yourselves these questions. Do I exalt myself? Do I promote myself? Do I justify myself? Do I degrade myself? Do I demote myself? Do I condemn myself? The answer belongs to me. Can we rise up? Close our eyes. We got to have ten minutes. Just a man. Maraming maraming salamat po Panginoon. Salamat sa kasalita mo na nagtuturo at nagbibigay sa amin ng gahe lugar. While we walk with you, Lord, salamat for the conviction of the Holy Spirit na nagpapaalala sa amin, Lord, to humble, na magiging humble sa before you, God, na hindi mapagkataas. And Lord, salamat, Panginoon, for pinpointing us, Panginoon, ano yung mga bagay na hindi kalugod-lugod sa harapan mo, Lord. Salamat, Lord, God, sa pagtuturo sa amin. 
about pride of life. Na instead, magkakaroon kami ng humility, Panginoon. Salamat, Lord, for giving us, giving us this opportunity, O Lord, na mapakinggan muli yung salita mo para sa buhay namin, Panginoon. Because every day in our lives, the enemy is trying to put a snare before us. But thank you, O Lord, for always protecting us, for always covering us with your precious blood. Lord, sa aming everyday na paglalakbay as a follower of Christ, Lord, Lord, we give our heart to you. We surrender our hearts to you, Lord, our decisions, our plans, our motives, O God. Lord, we pray that your Holy Spirit, Lord, will always remind us, will always teach us. He will rebuke us, Lord God, sa mga bagay na ayaw po na mag-continue sa buhay namin, Lord. Lord, kung ano man yung mga imperfections, securities, ano man yung mga pride, Panginoon, na nandito pa, ano man yung forgive and forgiveness, Lord God. Ano man yung nagiging hadlang, Lord God, sa blessing mo, sa bawat isa dito, Lord God. Lord, we pray and we surrender, Lord God. Sa mga bagay na ito, Panginoon. And we seek your face, O God. We want to know more of you, O God. We want, Lord God, to follow you, O Lord, and deny ourselves. Dahil ang buhay namin, dati, Panginoon, ay gusto na namin wala ng pakat at wala ng lugar sa buhay namin ngayon because we were crucified with you, O God. The old has gone and the new has come, O God. Yeah. And Lord, salamat sa buhay ng bawat isa na narinig ko, Lord. I know, Lord God, na this is an appointed time also, Lord God, for them to hear your word. Na hindi lang ako yung tinuturuan mo, Panginoon, Kundi ang bawat isa rin ko, Lord God, tinuturuan kung anumang aspito ng buhay ng bawat isa na kailangan ituwid sa mga mata mo, Panginoon. Lord, we submit ourselves completely to you. We surrender our lives to you, God. Na ikaw yung magumuna sa buhay ng bawat isa, Lord. Lord, change our hearts to understand all the people around us, O God na magkakaroon kami ng humble heart to God. And we pray, Lord God, na hindi lang kami, Lord, we pray also for our brothers and sisters, our family, O God. Extend, Lord God, your grace to them, O Lord, na silangan din, Panginoon, ay maitindihan nila na may mga pagkakataon sa buhay ko na inihinto mo for a greater purpose. Dahil you oppose the proud, O God, and you give grace to the humble. Maraming maraming salamat po. At ang pinipraise namin, tinataas namin ang pangalan mo above all names, above all mga sabuhay sa bawat isa dito. Ito lamang ang aming pinakumihan Ikaw lamin namin ang i-exalt, Panginoon, at wala nang iba sa buhay namin. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Um, 
There is a purpose of profit among all the people inside. All the brothers and sisters of God is appointed this time to live up. Mahal na mahal tayo I know na yung heart mo mo pinitingnan niya because he wants something na gawin sa mga mga. Saan lang natin be humble before his presence and his work. Kung ano mang mga hadlan sa buhay natin, ano mang difficulties na pinitays natin, ito ay kapatid. Let's allow God to work on our hearts now. According to Romans 10, 9, 10, sabi ng salita ng Panginoon, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised you from the dead. This is the point of time that God has allowed you to come and you can see and for with the heart of one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Kapatid, allow us to pray you first, and then after that, I will request you to follow the prayer. Let us pray over the world. Uh, Lord God, as we come uh, to this uh, to your presence, oh Lord, Lord, uh, our sister Cheryl is now here with us, Lord God. Search her heart, Panino. Tingnan mo yung katayuan ng kanyang puso, Panino. Lord, I know na mahal na mahal mo si Sister Chell, Panginoon, and that's the reason why you have put her here. Lord, alam na alam ng, namin, Panginoon, na ito ay hindi aksidente pagpunta niya rito. But then you have a divine and greater purpose sa buhay niya. And Lord, as we come to your presence now with a prayer, Lord, we appeal to you. Receive our prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, maraming maraming salamat po na binibigyan mo ako ng pagkakataon upang makalapit sa inyo sa araw na ito. Lord, salamat sa inyong salita. Maraming salamat na ikaw ay nagbibigay ng chance sa akin upang makapunta ngayon. And Lord, tinatanggap ko na ako ay isang makasalanan. Lord, maraming maraming salamat po. And I pray na you will hear my prayer today. And I ask for the forgiveness of my sins, past, present, and future. And Lord, from now on, I accept you in my heart as my personal Lord and Savior. Thank you for dying on the cross. Thank you for your precious blood that cleansed my sins that I am now a new creation. The old has gone and the new has come. I ask the Holy Spirit to dwell in my heart and to be with me until the second coming of Christ. Thank you, Lord, for the salvation. And Lord, you may use me for the expansion of your kingdom. And allow me, Lord, to grow 
in maturity to follow Christ as my Lord and personal Savior from here onwards in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and personal Savior, and with the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord God, maraming maraming salamat, Lord God, sa buhay, this is the children, Lord God. Lord, we pray, and this congregation, pray all together, Lord God, that you will, Lord, and win sa buhay na ito, Lord God, that you have a purpose that you will use, Lord Panginoon. At alam na alam naman, Panginoan, that hindi lang ito yung umpisa ng pagpunta niyo, Lord God, but this will be the beginning, Lord God, ng pagkakaroon, ng hindi matigla sa inyo, Lord God. Lord, we pray that in the heart of the ng buhay, the sister and the Lord God, you will bless the Lord God, that you will open the floodgates in heaven and will pour out the blessings upon the earth in terms of strengthening your relationship, in terms of her financial security in God, in terms of that, uh, and young, uh, the ritual relationship with the Lord. Lord, we declare blessings upon her and her family, Lord God. Maraming maraming salamat sa Ginoon. And Lord, I know, Lord God, na ikaw ay may plano mas kanya, Lord God. Use Sir Michael, Lord God, for, for, the, for your glory, for your honor. In the mighty name of Jesus, we, we give thanks and all praises and honor to you alone. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen.